On these uh, cookbook adjustable tie bars, here's your standard length tie bar, common for snapping in sort of this position here, just because of the the old the older joints. Uh, but yeah, so that's the old one there. That's the thin metal. Here's a adjustable tie bar from Cookbot. So what I've done at the minute is I've set these a couple of mils shorter than the standard ones. Uh, the garage will do the fine tuning. And putting them in the lower position. Now for removal all I've had to do is two bolts with their 18 mil either side and these two nuts that go onto the bracket that hold this headlight level sensor. Alright, so we've got that out of the way before we've taken it all apart so that doesn't break. Um, so, the only th thing to note is that the inner and outer bolts are slightly different lengths. There's a 5mm difference there, it's hard to tell. 5mm difference there. Now, because of how wide this part of the bracket is on the cut box, um, because of how well they've been engineered, you need a longer bolt. So you just buy another one of the... Uh, the inner length, it's five mil longer, that will fit perfectly through there and once the nuts on the end still be within your tolerance. Alright, but if you were to put the standard one through, see your bolt touch and go whether it's even going to hit the nylock thread at the end. Alright, um, so just a couple of bolts to put that back together, um, put the headlight level sensor back on and she's done. Thanks for watching.